Hello guys, in this video, we will be discussing about homogeneous functions. Homogeneous function is one of the lessons in differential equations, which is one of the branches in mathematics. Now the given differential equation is a homogeneous function or a homogeneous equation. If the functions are homogeneous of the same degree. Now we have here the standard equation of a differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to zero. Now our function m is a function of two variables x, y which is beside the x plus our function m is a function of two variables x, y, which is beside d, y is equal to zero. Now, we could say that this differential equation is a homogeneous equation if both functions m and d are homogeneous of the same degree. How to do that? Now, let us have here an example. The quantity of 3x squared plus y squared dx plus the quantity of 2xy dy equals 0. Now, first thing to do is to determine our m function and our n function. Take note that our m function is beside dx and our n function is beside dy. So, first is to monitor our m and n function. Now, take note that this is our m function. Because this is the function beside the x. And this is our n function because this is the function beside dy. So our m is equal to 3x squared plus y squared. And the other one is that our n is now equal to 2xy. Now first is that m of lambda x and lambda y which means to say that we are going to focus on our m function 3x squared plus y squared now take note this is a function m having two variables but this time we have lambda x and lambda y now our x is equal to the lambda x so this will serve as our x and this will serve as our y in short our x here is equal to the lambda x and our y here is equal to the lambda y. Okay, next thing to do is that we are going to substitute our x with lambda x and our y with lambda y from our m function. So copy here 3. And then x will be replaced with lambda x. So we have here lambda x. But there is still an exponent of 2 copy plus. This time our y will be replaced with lambda y. So we have here the quantity of lambda y. And there is still an exponent of so again, we use the substitution property, substituting x with lambda x, so we have that, and then raised to the power of 2 plus, substituting y with lambda y, and that's lambda y, quantity of lambda y raised to the power of 2. Now next thing to do is we are going to simplify. So this will become 3 
and then quantity of lambda x raised to the power of 2 it means to say that we are going to multiply lambda by itself and x by itself so we have lambda times lambda is lambda squared and then what is x times x that will become x squared plus the same thing lambda y will be multiplied by itself so lambda y times lambda y or lambda times lam lambda that's lambda squared and then what is y times y that's y squared now this is now our simplified figure okay as we multiply lambda x by itself that's lambda squared x squared copy the three and then lambda y times lambda y that will become lambda squared y squared next thing to do is to look at the common term take note that our first term is three lambda squared x squared and our second term is lambda squared y squared now what have you observed with the common the common here is lambda squared now let that out from the equation so this is now lambda squared times okay if you're going to take lambda squared and lambda squared on both terms then what's left on the first term 3 and x squared if you're going to take out lambda squared so this is now 3 x squared plus copy the operation being used and then um, if you're going to take out lambda squared because we left that out from the equation what's left on the second term that's why squared so we have we have now here lambda squared times the quantity of 3x squared plus y squared or lambda squared times 3x squared plus y squared take note that the function inside the parenthesis is our function m so replace 3x squared plus y squared with m so this is now lambda squared m now this two is what we called degree and m is our function 3x squared plus y squared since Three x squared plus y squared is our m then replace that then our degree now is 2 so we would say that hence m is homogeneous of degree The exponent is what we called degree. Okay, next is that our n is equal to 2xy. So the same process. n of lambda x, lambda y. So our x is equal to lambda x and our y is equal to lambda y. So substituting x with lambda x and substituting y with lambda y, still the same process that what we did on our first solution. So this is now 2 of lambda x times lambda y. So what we did is we are substituting x with lambda x and y with lambda y. And then next thing to do is to simplify. So basically you are going to multiply the 3. Okay, so we have 2 times lambda x times lambda y. So we have here 2. And notice that our lambda, okay, we have 2 lambdas here. So we have lambda times lambda that will become lambda squared and x times y that will become x y 
Okay, so lambda times lambda, that's lambda squared. And then x times y, that's xy. And then we copy the 2. And then this can be written as lambda squared times 2xy. You can do that because this is commutative multiplication. So you can write lambda squared times 2xy. Now what have you observed with our 2xy? 2xy is just the n. So this is now lambda squared n. So 2xy is being replaced with the n. Copy that. And then copy lambda squared. Now our exponent here is what we call degree. So our degree here is 2. Hence, we would say that n is homogeneous of degree two. Now our goal here is that we are going to determine if the original differential equation 3x squared plus y squared dx plus 2xy dy equals 0 is a homogeneous equation. Now we would say that this is a homogeneous equation because both functions m and n are homogeneous of the same degree. Take note that the, that the degree of the two functions m and m are both 2 and they are the same degree. Therefore, we would say that the DE or the differential equation 3x squared plus y squared dx plus 2xy dy, which is being denoted as DE, is homogeneous. of the same degree. Okay, so therefore, our DA is homogeneous. Why? Since both M and N are homogeneous of the same degree, then we would say that the given differential equation is homogeneous. Thank you for watching.